This is Banjo, and today I'm going over the function and setup of the radio stack found in the A10C in DCS World. The radio stack comprises three separate radios, the VHF AM, UHF, and VHF FM. From the throttle back, we have Radio 1, the VHF AM, Radio 2, the UHF, and Radio 3 being the VHF FM. Selection of the radio being used is done through the mic switch on the throttle, with the forward position selecting the first radio, down selecting the second radio, and the rear position selecting the third radio. Examining radio 1, the VHF AM radio, we're able to see we have four knobs which allow for manual entry of the frequency being used for broadcasting and receiving, valid from 116.0 to 151.975. On the upper left hand side we have the volume knob, squelch for testing the radio, we also have the frequency mode and frequency selection dials, as well as the preset selection dial. In the manual position of the frequency selection dial, the frequency broadcast and received over can be manually entered using the frequency selector knobs. Invalid frequencies are denoted by the solid tone heard a moment ago. In order to broadcast and receive over the radio, the frequency mode selector must be moved from the off to transmit receive position at which point you're able to broadcast and receive over the radio, as long as the correct frequency is entered if the frequency selector is in the manual position, or the correct preset is chosen if the frequency selector is in the preset position. The emergency AM and FM positions monitor the guard channel, although it has no function on the VHF AM radio. Although on the UHF radio, the guard channel is functional and operates on 243.0 MHz. When the frequency selector dial is moved into the preset position, the frequency selector knobs are no longer used and the preset dial is used instead, with the chosen preset displayed in the window just above the wheel itself, and instead the stored frequency is used on the select preset. Although in the manual position, if the load button to the left of the preset selector is pressed, the current frequency stored will be overwritten with the frequency that is entered into the frequency selector dials, allowing for presets to be overwritten with new frequencies. As we're able to see, the frequency for Cobuletti is 133, which I overwrote on preset 1, put the dials back to 124 and put it into preset 1, yet it's calling over 133.0 as I've overwritten preset 1. Skipping over radio 2 for a moment, we're able to see radio 3 is identical to radio 1, the only difference being the frequency range. This radio handles most of your ground communication with JTAC. Aside from valid frequencies being in the range of 30 to 76 MHz, this radio is set up identical to Radio 1, so we will just move on to Radio 2 at this point. Examining the UHF radio, we're able to see the layout is quite a bit different from the VHF radios, although it contains the same functions. In the middle row are the frequency selector knobs, with valid frequencies ranging from 225.0 to 399.975 MHz. The UHF includes a test button to test the digital display, a status button to indicate the frequency on each stored preset when in the preset mode. The frequency mode selector differs in that it has the manual position, preset, as well as guard positions. We're able to see on the front dash above the angle of attack indicator we have the current preset or frequency displayed for the UHF radio. Beside the frequency mode dial we have squelch, tone, and volume. Squelch will test the radio, volume adjusts the volume, although the tone has no function. The function dial includes the main position, which will allow for sending and receiving over the selected frequency. Both position, which will allow the same as main, as well as monitoring the guard channel. And the ADF position, which will allow for automatic direction finding, to any source, broadcasting, over the same frequency. Lifting the cover on the VHF radio reveals the red load button, which is similar to the load button found on the VHF radios, which will allow you to manually overwrite preset frequencies. Radio presets can be edited on a per mission basis and included in the mission file itself, allowing for missions to contain their own edited presets. By selecting the prepare mission option in the editor, once you load a mission, Loading into the mission and quitting will include all of the necessary script files. As we're able to see, settings.lua in each of the UHF, VHF, or VHF AM radio folders, we can edit any of the necessary frequencies. In game, as I cycle through the presets in the UHF radio, we're able to see that I have my flight, my airbase, and two divert airbases set up as the first four frequencies. I have this set up for both the VHF AM and UHF radio. 
In this example, I have it set up this way for redundancy, in case of the unlikely event of a radio failure. Finally, I'll demonstrate the ADF function of the UHF radio. When ADF is selected on the function dial of the UHF, the HSI will point to any source broadcasting over that same frequency tuned into the UHF radio for the duration of the broadcast. 